Boom, I see the car. Hey, fam. Fam. Hey, what's good with you? What you say? You got something to put in there? Yeah. Yo, I hear you alone, now, nigga. Come on now, who said that? Call the name, call the name. Bitch, we ain't trying to rap the O. Keep one in the head soon as you try to set your dog. Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? They say busting niggas head won't hear the pain, but they'll eat. My mama looking surprised when I walk in. What's up, it's your boy Cool, episode two of Hood Artist Radio. You can follow me on IG at Cool, 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 C O O L K E W L K O O L. Today we got special guest Kevin Gales in the building, aka KJ, aka 4KG himself, aka everything. You can find him where? Shit, in the hood near you. You can find me on Instagram, KG Business underscore, uh, Facebook, Kevin Gales, and follow me on YouTube, KG Business. So after watching all these artists, man, people, they kind of tend to forget the person behind the scenes, the person behind the camera. The person that makes all us pop, make everything possible. So, what influenced you to start shooting music videos? Like, where did you first start? Honestly, I was a photographer first. I was always in the club and, you know, doing my thing there. But I figured I can capture the moment because I'm always around entertainment. You know, that's what I always like to do. I was burning CDs in middle school. So, people always knew me to do electronics and shit. I was always a smart kid, but I was still cool, though. So, I was like, why not? You know, make it big. I see is a, is a lack of uh, you know videographers in the area. You know, I, I stepped in and basically did my thing. So, um, with that being said, who was the first artist that that helped you take off and get things started? Um, the first artist I, I used to do videos with my cousin uh, Red Jones. We pr basically experimented together. But uh, as far as like taking off to the next level, I would say Zico, uh, free my boy Zeke. Um, I met Ziggo in the club too. You know, I used to do little videos for him. He performed um, and lavish and whatnot. Uh, shout out my boy Twan, Antoine Hargrove. He booked Ziggo for his first show. And I um, captured a moment for him. And ever since then, we kind of linked up. And our first video we did was um, Dead Situation, I believe. And it was up from there. It was up from there. Shout out my boy uh, Twan, like you said, Twan Hargrove. Shout out Zeke, man. I know him too. I know both of those guys. We go back. Good people, good people. So, um, after getting started, man, you started getting a whole lot of attention. Your name started ringing. In one year, y'all listen to this, in one year, he got over 4,000 subscribers, over 3 million views, man. How... What drove you to that, man? Like, those numbers are crazy. Like, how do you keep up with that? Like, pumping videos, keeping up with all the videos you shoot in and editing. Like, your work ethic got to be crazy. But with me, like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to give my all. So, when I first started, I really wasn't sleeping. Like, I shoot a video and drop it the next day. Um, speaking of Zico, Slime um, came right behind. Him. His work ethic was crazy, too. So, He'll pretty much go to the studio and text me about three songs every day I wake up. So he like, pick one, we're gonna shoot a video today. Tomorrow, same thing. So pretty much we shot, we shooting several videos a week and, until it just got crazy and kind of like took over. So um, I credit that a lot to Slime too because he, he pushed me because he was recording every day and wanted to get it out there. So I was mad at his work ethic and recording him and, and dropping him in and kept going with it. Hey, shout out to Slime, fool, man. Shout out to Slime. Uh, I'm gonna get back to y'all after this break. Right now we got a song actually coming up next with me, Cool Kale, featuring Slime Fool called For Real. Y'all let me know how that sound, check it out.
All right, man. Now that we back, love for everybody. Tap in at WDRB Radio, the voice of the community. That's where you can find me at on Our Heart Radio, Radio Show Hood Idols. But now we back with my boy KG. We know enough about KG right now, man. I want I want to know a little bit more about Kevin, man. Tell me like where you from, your background. Tell us some things people don't know about you. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm from Henderson, um, North Carolina. Everybody know about Henderson. You know the area that it's in. It's kind of hard to to see out there. It's kind of a lot of hatred going on, a lot of violence, a lot of negativity going on. So it's it's hard to uh, succeed, and that's what makes me kind of stand out because people really do the same things. Either you're gonna either you're gonna sell drugs or, or you're gonna be either be a gangster or go to school or you know do some a base of work like somewhere like a warehouse or something. But, I just wanted to be different. I, I always knew that as a kid. I ain't never wanted to be the same as everybody else. So that's pretty much how I always thought. I can relate. I can relate, man. We we entrepreneurs out here. I started this, this radio show, for instance, man, because I wanted to be different. But not only did I want to be different, I wanted to set a platform where I can help the people where I'm from. So y'all listen to this now. All my 252. 919-336-704 rappers like y'all need to tap in contact me i'm doing this not for myself but for everybody a lot of y'all be honest ain't got nothing going for yourself like this exposure tap in let's work let's network this how you build in the world we gotta we gotta make it off the block the goal is to make it out the hood not stay there and create the same circle of life for our sons and their sons and daughters and so on you know with all that being said, man, um, I started working with KG about, i say about seven, eight months ago. His work ethic is, as it says, it, it stands for itself. I've been putting in a lot of work, and I've been building, and we still building. Hood Idols, the brand, Mr. 4KG. i like to shout out Wayne Head for letting me uh, use his spot for this radio show you know this y'all can see this dope we got a lot more things to build on you know Wayne here um I first started out with him a long time ago he came a long way and my brother built with him free my brother Boosie son uh for, for those who know Boosie son Zeke Slime probably the hottest three in the city they all behind bars right now so Let's free them guys, man. They, they they gave the city the biggest hope. And I'm here to finish the job for them. And I can't wait for them to come home. And, and we're going to take off. But back to uh, KG. Something else, like, he inspired me in a way people don't understand. Like, i always been doing my own thing. He always been doing his own thing. But he did do some things that made me do other things. Like, a few months ago, he went and copped him my all white bands. I'm like, damn, i always been wanting a new whip. It's like, damn, I need to step out. Like, shit, we can do it. It's possible. I hit him up. He gave me the contact instead of, you know, he know I want no header. He know I want this. He gave me the contact. I contact the same person. I went and caught me a white beam. You know, anybody else got goals, y'all reach out to us. I'm pretty sure we can help you any way that we can. We can help you get this, help you get that. We started building in the world. We started winning in the world. But um, as far as thing goes, man, um... Let, let's get a little more personal with KG, like, like, <laughs> how, <laughs> how, since your name started growing in the world, like, like, how your love life been going? How your love life been going on the back end? Like, what's that looking like? Um, love life is great. Um, uh, shout out to Miss Danielle Hicks. Um, pretty much, I, I've been out, I probably was single for a couple years, you know, I was doing my thing, whatever, but, you know, somebody come along and show you different it, it could change your life. She really support me on what I'm doing. It, sometimes I get discouraged or overworked or feeling like I'm upset and, you know, ready to take on the world someday. She kind of there to uh, bounce me back out. So uh, if any of guys are that younger than me, and they, if you got a good woman, don't take advantage of her because they can really change your life from you doing something great to then failing because everybody needs somebody to uh, support them. And also, shout out to my son. He's awesome motivation, and my parents and my sisters, you know, they all, and the rest of my family, I can't shout them all out because, you know, it's too many of them, but uh, everybody definitely needs a support system. Can't nobody do nothing alone, you know what I'm saying? So, you got people in your corner that 
behind you, keep them people. And if you make it, take care of them people because the circle of life, that's how it goes. That's exactly how it goes, man. I agree with that fully. Like, it's important to have somebody to, to support what you're doing. I don't care how much you love a person. I don't care how much this. If they're not supporting what you're doing, you got to stick with the people who support what you're doing because that's just important. They're going to strive. They're going to keep you striving. They're going to keep you focused. When you fall off, we all get distracted. They're going to tell you, hey, get it together, snap back. So I agree with KG on that part. But um, we're going to get back to you after this next track. By me again, me and my brother, Cool KL Future, and Boosie Son. Free Boosie Son called both ways. Y'all check it out. Let me know. Beast mode, I'm a sad. I told my niggas line the other day, I'm using like a door. When I hear that shit, I turn up quick, I get in the booth, I pop my shit. My eyes turn red like a demon. I'm fucking on her, you creamy. She's sucking all on my semen. You sleeping on me, keep dreaming, yeah. You fuck my bitch, I'm fucking your bitch, too. You slide on me, I'm sliding on you, too. The Hood Artist Radio Episode 2 Starring Mr. 4KG Um To pick up what we left off man I just want to ask this question man how, how many videos have you shot? Uh it's about 115 on my channel right now But I've probably shot Over 150 and all That's not even including the wedding videos And club videos I did I, I'm just going as far as like Actual music videos that I did 150 videos, y'all. Y'all hear that? How many of y'all can say that? And the fact that he said that, it, it, it made me think of something. I was on a video shoot. My video shoot, I can't get enough. And one of the models, like, they tried him in a video. Like, I do videos all the time, God. I try to tell him how it go. He was like, how many videos you been in? He was like, I shot 150 videos. How many videos you been in? She couldn't even respond. It was, it was just funny to me, man. That, yeah. that just brought me back, man. Quick love for that, Brad. But um, I wouldn't necessarily call that hate, but with hate in this world, man, and all the haters and everything, man, how do you balance the hate in your life as a person and not, like, explode on people, you know? How you deal with it? First of all, I go back to the support system all the time earlier. You got to have people to talk to that's positive in your corner, and you got to have balance. If you don't have that balance, you're going to go crazy. You got to balance work, family, social, and um. Uh, a long time and your hobbies you like to do because I take that personal time sometimes just you know breathe take a deep breath sometimes because you got sometimes you got to get away from social media stop listening to what people say because it's a lot of he say she say sometimes and you got to really know for yourself what's going on otherwise you'll just be out here listening to what everybody's saying and you'll really go crazy so um yeah pretty much balance balance life out and don't listen to it most of the time because if you get to a certain place, man, people are going to try to bring you down the way anyway. You got to understand the level that you're on. You, you're sometimes ahead of people, so you can't go back down. And you got to keep your focus. Something that uh, stuck with me right there that you said that a lot of people don't get is very important. Out of everything that he do, work, business, family, da, 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 da. The most important thing he said to me is a long time. Y'all don't understand how important that is. Like, you got to have time to yourself. You got to have time to sit back and think and see where you come from, see where you're going, see what's happening next, see what's, you know, everything that's going on in life. But speaking of what's happening next, like, what, what's some of your future goals? Like, like what's big? What's something big? What's, what's a KG goal? Like... Let me let me get inside your head a little bit. Tell me something that you haven't. Uh, tell me a place you haven't reached yet that you want to go. Like, let me, honestly, let me hear um, that. honestly, I feel like I'm just getting started. I feel like I haven't done nothing yet. Woo. Um, I want to network. I want to travel the world. I want to do videos with everybody. I mean, there's so many artists out there that I want to work with. I can't even say who because I want to work with everybody. I've been going to Atlanta recently. Um. I linked up with Cash Talk. He signed out there uh, in Atlanta. I'm going back down there to uh, link up with him again next week. Hopefully, we can network and meet more people. You know, I want to, I want to expand to Atlanta more because that's really what hip hop is right now. So I keep going down there lately, just you know, link up with people. Hopefully, my name can be on the next. Uh, who knows, future young boy, uh, Migos, somebody from Atlanta, anybody really. I want to be the guy that. Everybody go to not just locally. So I feel like I've done nothing yet.
All my NC artists, man, calm down, calm down. Don't get mad. He said Atlanta, the new hip hop spot. We all know NC on the rise, but we 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 gonna play the underdog role right now. You feel me? We we gonna kick back on. We ain't gonna hop on it yet. I mean, yeah, it's just reality. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sure we got a lot of artists. I worked with um, Set It Off uh, before '83 and um, Tebo, Young Boss. Shout out to them, Young Boss, Tebo, and it Set It Off '83. I also booked on. Um, Lil Tony from uh, for a club performance I had one time. So I pretty much linked up with a lot of uh, NC artists. Haven't worked with um, anyone else besides those guys as far as signed artists from NC. But I'm open to work with anybody at this point. Oh yeah, I, I did performance videos for um, Big Mally too. Shout out to Big Mally. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much with a lot of people out here. So I'm, I'm eager to do more in the future. Yeah, man, so as you can hear, man, my boy got a lot of goals. He got a lot going on, but he do a lot with his personal time. That's that's a key thing. So make sure you keep that personal with your people and you hold it down, man. I, th I think that's a wrap for this episode. And I look forward to the next artist, next videographer, next small business owner, whoever, man. You trying to get some exposure, you trying to do this, you trying to do that, or it's simple. You just trying to tell your story. This is a place to be. Hood idols, holla at your boy cool. KG, sir. <laughs>